the gas contraction. So on a field like fit like this, and you just gently go like this, right? I'm your advance, right? Ray and those guys, they're thinking like this. Right? And one of the things for me is that whether it's like this, like this, or whether you're doing this, what was very important to me is that it still did good extinguishment. If it was like this and you were comfortable and if you went like this, all the heat came back at you, like I would want nothing to do with it. Mm -hmm. So we've done it all different orientations. Cal Romagus has advanced it in Texas in his class A thing. We're, we're doing uh, modern fuel burns uh, in an acquired structure next month. But like I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to be associated with it at all if I thought like this is gonna be very nuanced. Like you can't move your arms too fast or you, you have to have it this way or that way mm -hmm. or you might bring heat back to the nozzle. Man. Like then I wouldn't want anything to do with it. What I think is it coats the ceiling you get a bigger piece of pie. As you move it up and down, you're gonna capture the furniture and stuff in front of you. You're gonna get early fallout. What's the hardest thing to do in a structure fire in a residential compartment? Why do we start into the overhead? Why is it? Why is the first water always this? Cooling the highest, so it's highest the temperatures. Highest, it's the highest temperature, so you get the water mapping it down. But think about this. This, at 50 PSI, this water is what? It's traveling at 60 miles an hour away from me. One of the reasons you start up is you're trying to slow the water down and, and get it to fall out. So if you're in this pattern, your initial hit up hits a bigger deal. When you come down, see, see how there's early fallout in front of you? It does extinguishment way better in a residential compartment. <clears throat> That's interesting, that's definitely a new concept.